Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Today I'm going to be working on this Vietnam style ficus microcarpa. This tree started out as a ginseng ficus from a grocery store and all the grafted foliage died on it and it sprouted from the root base. So it's all one tree and I've been working on it trying to get it ready for the fall shows. So today I'm going to do a little more pruning. Here is a look at the tree. Since I last pruned it, I've got some extensions growing out out of the profile. I've got some large leaves that I want to remove and I'm going to do a general cleanup to the structure of the tree, trying to get it looking good for the fall shows. I'm going to begin by pruning back these long shoots. And on a ficus, when the shoots first come out, the leaves are small, the internodes, the spaces between the leaves are quite tight. And as it grows and gains vigor, the leaves get larger, they get further apart. So keeping a tree tightly pruned when it's in kind of the refinement stage is a good thing. You don't want them growing too long and wild or you, you have to do some pretty hard pruning to get them back in shape. So I'm looking for leaves here. There's two outward facing leaves here so I can take this shoot off right here. Like that. This one has also grown very long. So I'm looking for leaves. There's a good one here. So I'll prune it right back just in front of that leaf. Like that. There's a shoot off here. All I can do is prune the tip on that one. Taking some vigor out of that branch and then some buds will develop at the base of those leaves and it'll get some uh, good branching on it. Take a stub off there. There's an older leaf I can remove here. There's a large vertical leaf here I'm going to take off. And I may, these branches, I want them to thicken up these lower branches a bit. So I've kind of let them grow, but I think it's time to prune them back now. So I'll prune this one right back to here. And this one, I better take it back also to here. And I'll remove these leaves, these older leaves here. They're kind of large. And if something, you know, starts growing here, I can remove these larger leaves also. There's an upward growing leaf here I can take off. So that's got this lower branch pruned up quite nicely. I can take a stub off of here like that. There's a shoot up top here that's growing with a lot of vigor. I better take it back to here. There's one out the back here. It's also getting very tall. I'm going to take it right back to here. There's one out the back here. That's very vigorous. I'll prune this stub off like that. And all I can do on this one, well, I can prune it back. There's a node back here, so I'll prune it to there. There's a branch here that has some large leaves on it. I'll prune it back to here. And again, once some new branches grow in this area, I can remove those larger leaves. There's a leaf growing upwards here I can remove. I like to keep all the leaves kind of horizontal. You don't want leaves sticking, you know, straight up in the air. It looks kind of funny. There's a vigorous branch here I can take back. Cutting went somewhere in there. There's one on the top here that's getting very vigorous. I'll take it back. This one too. There's a branch growing on the inside here. I can remove that one. This one's getting long. I've got to take it back. Ah, where is the question? I don't really have any 
good branching in that area. So all I can do, can't do much there at all. There's a leaf way back here where this bud came out. And then there's a long internode and two leaves at the tip. I can't even pinch the tip. It's too close to this bud here. So I've just got to leave that. That'll be for future pruning. There's an older leaf here I can remove. There's a stub in here I can clean up. There's a vertical shoot here that I've got to prune back. There. There's a vigorous shoot here I can prune back. A vertical leaf here I can remove. There's a weed in here. I can try and pull out. It's kind of in amongst the roots here, so I'll try and get it by the roots if I can. Yeah, I got it by the roots. There's a few new roots forming on the tree now. Some aerial roots, which is good. There's a vigorous shoot here. I got to prune back to there. So let me step back and have a look at the tree now. So I'm just having a look at it. There's a older leaf here I can remove. And one in here. And when I say older leaf, there are leaves that the bud at the base of the leaf has become active and has formed a branch. So I can remove those older leaves off. Just a little thinning. There's a, a vertical shoot here I don't like. Um, I think I better take it right off. Clean up the stub there. Try to. take this tip off here and there's a vertical shoot here that's got to come right off and there's one growing on the inside here I better remove that there's a vigorous branch growing out the back here I better prune that back It's looking better. I'm going to come from above now and just see, make sure every branch has light, that there's no, you know, not too many leaves in one area that's blocking the light out to the branches. So I'm looking down at the top of the tree and there is a lot of confusion in here. There's some older leaves I can remove to kind of thin it out a bit. Big old leaf here I can take out. One here. Just so your tree has kind of an even density of leaves. You don't want, you know, it really heavy in one area compared to the others. So I'll just do a little leaf thinning. 
flatten that section out a little more. There's a leaf point to the inside here I can remove. Okay, I think that's thin nicely. From above it looks, you know, quite, quite airy. You can see all the branches, they're all getting light. The type of work I did today on this ficus is sort of pre-show maintenance pruning. You don't want anything kind of getting out of check. You've got to keep your eyes on it because the, the tree can change, you know, every week. You might notice new shoots coming out and sometimes they're good shoots, sometimes they're growing the wrong direction. So you've got, just got to keep up on the maintenance of the tree, making it look the best you can before the show. Here is what I pruned off the tree today. So nothing too major, just branch tips, thinning it out, some leaves. So let's fly in now and have a look at the tree. I'll continue to do this maintenance type work to the tree until showtime and I'll have to do a little moss clean up and get the tree looking really good for the show. So now it's time for today's updates. The first update for today is on the floor of the greenhouse here and it's my ficus microcarpa that I grew from a seed. So I recently did a lot of structural work to this tree, defoliating the tree, cleaning up the structure. And you can see now it's starting to grow leaves back in. So that's exciting. I've kept the root base wrapped with this wet towel and it's been very effective. If I unwrap it here, you can see there's roots growing through the towel and there's lots of healthy roots underneath. So it's keeping the roots in good shape until they kind of get more established Someone else in the comments section said they do this with their ficus. They just wrap it in a, a wet towel and it grows all kinds of aerial roots off the trunk. So yeah, I think it's a good technique. My Toprome temple here is growing with a lot of vigor. You can see the leaves are getting quite large on this ficus. So I think I'll have to defoliate at least the one side and grow smaller leaves in if I put this in the show, which I think I will. It's something cool and different. The other ficus, the Bert Davii ficus is growing really well. That'll need some pruning. There's a lot of branches that are growing kind of funny directions. So that'll be coming up. The Bert Davi ficus from Joey here. It's getting a good canopy on it. The leaf size is quite large because I haven't pruned it. I've just been letting it grow. I repotted this in spring and it's just now starting to grow with a ton of vigor. This happens every year. My ficus always look best right at the end of summer and then they have to go indoors. And, and they usually decline a bit over the winter, but they always rebound in spring again and start growing. My other ficus benjamina root over temple is doing well. There's all kinds of new shoots growing, some of them in good places, some not so good. But it's recovering from the heavy pruning I did last time to it. Yeah, so it'll look good once again someday. My willow leaf ficus here that I'm also thinking of putting in the show is really starting to fill out now. You can see all the sort of reddish colored new leaves on it. I think by showtime that's going to be a very dense canopy and the tree should look quite good for the show. Out here on the bench is my banyan style Schifflera and I've just been letting this grow this summer and you can see how dense it is and it's getting very large. I don't want to prune this. Um, 
I want to grow it for a couple of years getting you know until these extensions are really long and then I'll prune it back quite hard but it's doing really well it'll be a good show tree someday down here is my giant sequoia forest and I was trying to keep up you know pinching all the tips on the new growth to keep it in size and to a conical shape and it seemed like, you know, I would pinch it one day and the next day there'd be another shoot extending and I just couldn't keep up with it. It was just, it almost required daily pinching. And then I didn't want to pinch it too much because I didn't want to weaken the trees too much. So I kind of uh, gave up on that idea and just let them grow. And I think it'll be good for the trees. I may do a little work up top to them, but I'll leave the bottom branches alone until spring. But the tops could definitely get some pruning, kind of taking a bit of vigor out of the tops and encouraging the bottom branches to grow, kind of balancing the vigor of the trees. But they're doing really well. They're nice and healthy looking. Out here on the back benches, the new jades seem to be doing well. Like all the leaves look really healthy. I think they're liking it in the sun. So I give them a water once I got them home and I haven't watered them since. And I don't know when I will rewater them. I think, you know, maybe, maybe not for quite a while, like a couple of weeks at least. They do get dew in the morning. So the, you know, the surface of the soil is wet and all the leaves are wet in the morning. So it's not like they're not getting any water. So I think, you know, just leaving them dry for a couple of weeks and then I'll give them another thorough watering. Here's a look at my other ficus microcarpa, the one I call plain. So it's doing quite well. It's getting a nice dense canopy on it. I wouldn't say I've got, you know, super vigorous growth on it. And I think it's because of the shallow pot here. Ficus don't seem to like shallow pots very much. They look great in them, but as far as vigorous growth, you don't really get vigorous growth in a shallow pot. It's good if you want to slow the tree down, but if you're developing the tree, maybe a deeper pot's better. But I'm happy with the growth this year. It's at least, you know, the tree looks healthy and it's developing. This is the back of my Portulacaria Afroforce, the one I sprayed with the soap and water. And I found it's kind of defoliating itself. Those leaves that got the soap and water seem to be kind of falling off. So it's kind of like a chemical defoliation, I guess. But the trees are looking really good. They're nice and healthy. There's new shoots growing out all over them. So it certainly didn't hurt the trees. Just those older leaves went brown. All the three big forests are doing well. My bog forest here is looking very good. Nice and miniature. The larches didn't grow in with a ton of vigor after the last pruning, but it looks like, you know, all the lower branches are alive. So I'm keeping, you know, them well watered, well fertilized, and we'll see what happens with them. If I do get some of the lower branches die off, well, that's part of the natural look of the forest. Most dense forests don't have branches down low. They kind of die off from lack of light. So. The avatar grove here is looking very, very lush. It's doing well. Nice green foliage on it. And the larch forest is also doing really well. It's getting some last end of the season growth on it. I haven't done a lot of work to it this year. I've just been kind of building up the strength in the trees for the big repot coming in spring. My English oaks have grown really well this year. For a tree grown in a pot, you can see how tall it's gotten. Like, I can hardly reach the top of the tree now. Yeah, amazing growth on it. So that'll all get pruned back down short again once the leaves fall off the tree. And another season will come for it. The Austrian pine is looking really good, nice and healthy. The two sacrifice leaders look good. They've got some good strong buds at the tips of them. This back one's got some really strong buds. So eventually I'll prune those off. I'm just trying to thicken the trunk 
and even out the trunk so it's not so lumpy looking. And it's coming, I think it's working quite well. All my smaller trees are doing well. My bird's nest spruce, the cedars, the junipers. So this one could probably get a pruning, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until they're all super vigorous and then prune them back. My $50 challenge juniper is almost unrecognizable. It's got so much growth on it. It's good to see because I wasn't happy with the shape of it. So that'll get a pretty severe pruning in the future. My saber leaf ficus here is doing quite well. It's growing really nicely now. Kind of had a slow start in spring, but I kept it cool over the winter and that probably wasn't the best thing for it, but it survived. No branches died. It just took a while to get going again. It probably needs a repot too. You can see the root base down here. It's getting very full of roots and roots are growing around the surface of the pot here. So that'll be something to do. The Frankenficus is out here in the sun after yesterday's pruning. I've got this side of the tree facing the sunny spot in the yard. So it should get a lot of new shoots developing on this side of the tree, which is what I need. Yeah, so while the weather's good, I'll leave it outside in the nice sunny weather and uh, see how it looks towards fall. I don't want the updates to turn into a full bench tour. I've already done that this year. So that will be all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <laughs>